Hi, my name is Gumaro Rodriguez, safety representative at AEC. In this video, I'll train you on the safe way to use an angle grinder with a cutting wheel. To get started, let's cover the basics. What is an angle grinder and what is the cutting wheel? An angle grinder is an electrically or pneumatically powered handheld tool used by welders for grinding, cutting, and polishing metals. It works by spinning an abrasive cutting or polishing wheel and it is called an angle grinder because the wheel is mounted at a right angle. Cutting generates dust and flying debris. Always wear safety glasses and a face shield to protect your eyes. Cutting gives off sparks, so wear fire resistant sleeves or jacket and gloves to protect yourself from sparks. Cutting is noisy, so wear hearing protection to minimize the noise you hear. And finally, when working in a shop environment, have a hard hat on to protect your head. Don't forget your safety shoes. Great! After you put your PPE on, you can begin using the grinder, but you must inspect it before each use. Please make sure the grinder is not connected to an energy source before you begin inspecting. Start by ensuring the guard on the grinding wheel is not missing as well as the handle. Also make sure the electric cord is not frayed. Then inspect the cutting wheel and ensure it is free of cracks and nicks. Whenever a new cutting wheel is installed, make sure you tighten the round wheel nut firmly with a fork wheel nut wrench. It's recommended to run the grinder while holding it away from others for five to 10 seconds. This will tell you if you've installed the wheel correctly. If you notice it wobble, stop the grinder, unplug it and reinstall the wheel. The cutting wheel is four and a half inches in diameter and used for cutting thin metals. At AEC, we limit the use of the cutting wheel to cutting metal at maximum thickness of a quarter of an inch. Cutting thicker material can put too much stress on the cutting wheel, which can cause the wheel to break and disintegrate. For cuts thicker than a quarter of an inch, use a plasma cutter or an oxyacetylene torch flame cutter. Now that you learn what to do first, you can begin to cut material. You must start by ensuring the workpiece you will be cutting is properly clamped to the table or work surface. This is important to avoid too much movement of the workpiece. Having too much movement can damage the wheel and can cause the wheel to break or suddenly jerk, which can lead to injury. Now that the workpiece is clamped and secured, you can begin cutting. Please make sure the cutting wheel is not in contact with the workpiece before the switch is turned on. Do not crash the cutting wheel into the workpiece and do not apply too much pressure. Instead, allow the wheel to do the work. The weight of the angle grinder is enough to make the cut. When cutting, cut straight. Twisting or turning the wheel will cause it to break and disintegrate. Make sure you don't leave too much pressure on the same point. Instead, cut evenly by slightly moving the wheel back and forth. This will help to avoid the wheel from jerking or getting stuck. Not following these basic steps is dangerous because the disc could break and disintegrate as you are cutting. If this were to happen, debris will strike you with tremendous force, which will lead to an injury. If the cutting wheel gets stuck or starts to jerk while you are cutting, immediately release the power switch and wait for the wheel to come to a full stop, then pull the wheel out. Never attempt to start the grinder after stopping when the wheel is jammed in between your cuts. This could cause the wheel to break or disintegrate. If the wheel is jammed in the metal and you are unable to release it after the power is off, please make sure the grinder is not connected to an energy source and break the wheel by twisting your grinder with two hands. Thank you for watching. That is it for this video. Remember to always be cautious when working around powerful tools. I'm Gumado Rodriguez, safety representative for AEC Process Systems. Please stay safe and remember, safety starts with you.